and welcome to it's an evening news bulletin with me clinton de souza and here are the top stories herald will help its goan family to select their own candidates no one should tell us how we should be led let us decide this is a new campaign started by herald you speak and we will be your voice we need a system that is all about the welfare and interests of the permanent goan community citing in its villages towns and cities and we already faced another election we at hcn spoke to several people across the state on what kind of candidates and government they want in future watch this special story we need to herald change in the coming upcoming 2022 elections in fact we are looking forward to this 2022 elections because things as they stand today are very very bad goa is on the verge of collapse the goa bhumiputra adhikarni bill 2021 is the last nail in the coffin i think of goa everywhere there is environmental degradation heritage natural heritage is being desecrated everywhere you find garbage there's lot of corruption potholes lot of issues are confronting goa at the moment enough of these oldies old guys they have been ruling over us since when i was in school i remember these names and they are still continuing to rule over us first of all there should be fresh faces in the assembly maybe the first timers you know heraldan एक कॉलम स्टार्ट के आई रियली वेलकम दैन कारण खरी गरज आशिंदी कि लोकपर्यंत कहीं गजाली पाव पाव जाए महत्वाचो पॉइंट आसा कि आज आमी पॉलिटिशन कशा पद्धति जाए कशे पॉलिटिशन पा फाटले पॉलिटिशन्स पे आत पॉलिटिशन हतुन खूबसो फरक माका स्वता जाता कशेंस इतरक जाता नवे फेस ये यूथ ये they have lump sum ideas they have energy they have power to do something nave jenna lok etle nave jenna youth bikar sartale tennas khara mallar amka khoro chehro pulopang metlo according to me i feel uh, our elected representative to be a well educated and he should be uh, very loyal to his people with whom he is working we need a young dynamic leader who will be like empowering people especially uh, youth and also the women empowerment including development should be done for the betterment of the people and not exploiting the nature and also the people the state election has taken 6 to 7 months ul lane ami poleta ki khub she rajkarani ek ek paksha jan dusra paksha nahitat tar ami barkayan poye jalar पॉलिटिक्स मुटा तो ये जे लोग एक पार्टी जन दुसर पार्टी वा खीर फो रिटर्न ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट ते इन्वेस्ट करता एक इलेक्शन आनी अनलिमिटेड वेल्थ करपो तंत्र हेतु आसता सो लोक इतली मांगनी हा कि अपने अवती भोवती पोपा को लोक खीर वावरता को प्रकार के राजण गोयी के प्रकार के राजण आज गोयन जाए मुझे असो राजणी जो भूमिपुत्र रक्षण करतलो असो राजणी गोयन जाए असो राजणी जो माधई वाचत असो राजणी गोयन जाए अशा प्रकार के राजण गोयकार जाए जतुतान गोय सारवार जो आज जे तुम्हें पता गोई जी दुर्दशा जो ती जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ वो एटिट्यूड सरकार हम करे सो कायदा एटिट्यूड घर जो सरकार चल आज गोई हि परिस्थिति जी आवर लीडर्स हैव बिकम बिगर देन द पार्टी एंड आवर स्मॉलनेस ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसीज इज एनादर बिग इश्यू आवर कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसीज आर अराउंड ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी थाउजंड and a candidate to win requires in the range of about 12000 to 13000 votes in a three cornered contest it is about 8 to 9000 votes this leaders are not just the leaders who will get the political power from their families it's not just a transition of the family to family power we need the leaders who will take care of our goan people who will take care of our goan real grassroots level people okay so when the election comes please goans save goa think whom you elect think about it now on thursday the body of a young woman that siddhi naik was found in a semi nude state at the kalangut beach 
The girl was missing since Tuesday after she went to work. The postmortem concluded that caused a death of Afsia during and due to drowning. On Tuesday, the father of the girl had lodged a complaint at Mapsa police station of her daughter going missing. Entire social media was filled with missing posts about this girl. On Thursday morning, her, her body was found at the Kalangut beach. A woman was found dead on the shores of Kalangut beach. The body was, has been identified by her father as per social media post from her fans, friends and families. The girl was last seen near the Green Park Hotel near Mapsa and later after that moment, her whereabouts were untraceable, said the Kalangut Police Inspector Nalasko Raposo. Sidi Naik went missing from Tuesday. Her last scene was at Gay. She worked at a restaurant in Maldigoa. The father of the girl filed a missing complaint at Mapsa Police Station on Wednesday. Social media was flooded with missing posts about the deceased. Her body was found at Kalangut Beach on Thursday morning. A post-mortem concluded that she died due to drowning. Now watch to what the SP has to say. Today in the morning, uh, we had received a, a call regarding a dead body being found at Kalangut Beach of a woman. Immediately, staff from uh, Kalambur Police Station reached the spot and uh, they shifted the dead body to hospital. Uh, the lady was declared brought dead on arrival. Upon preliminary inquiry, it was uh, found uh, that she was, uh, she was a lady who had gone missing yesterday. Her family was contacted and the family, upon uh, seeing the body, confirmed, uh, confirmed her identity. Once the identity was confirmed, uh, a post-mortem examination was carried out at the Goa Medical College and uh, we are now in receipt of the post-mortem report in which uh, it is concluded that it is a case of death by drowning. What the post-mortem report also says is that uh, there is no indication of any assault, any sexual assault or any violence. Uh, so uh, we have on the basis of the post-mortem report we have uh, ruled out uh, any case of murder, rape or assault. And uh, we are conducting an inquest. See, when uh, has a missing complaint is filed? Uh, uh, it was filed yesterday yes. at police station Mops. By the father? Okay. Yeah, by the father of the deceased lady. Several Goans under the ban of citizens of Goa marched to the governor's palace on Wednesday morning over the Bhumi Putra Adhikarani Bill 2021 passed in the recent assembly session. Members of the delegation met the governor of Goa and submitted a memorandum demanding to scrap this bill and highlighted several issues Goans are facing. 13th, we have given him an ultimatum. Okay, governor, they could not delay. Okay, uh, yeah, a letter, memorandum, delay. Huh? That to look, look into it and we want it scrapped. One voice only. We want, to the, we want the bill scrapped. No discussion, nothing. Nothing. No change name, nothing. Just one thing scrap of the bill. And 13th, if he does not withdraw it now, I don't know. We have given him the time. Enough, enough, I am granted ge law hati ni. Ani ani granted ge pa zai na. Goyankar o gya hai no, tek lagon government faida ge ta. Aat nuk bair son azalea no, your lands are finished. Goa is finished. The High Court of Bombay at Goa on Wednesday disposed of the petition filed by all Goa bus, private bus owners association objecting to the fitment of the digital taxi meters. The association along with others had jointly moved the High Court challenging the order on fitment of digital meters in tourist taxis. Earlier, a delegation of all Goa Private Bus Owners Association and private taxi operators had alleged illegalities in the ongoing installation of the taxi fare meters. The association demanded the amended rule about installing of digital meters does not speak about those taxis which come to Goa from other states. Today, we spoke to TTH Savio Messias over his views on the recent order watch. Taxi uh, guys have been trying to intervene in this petition on a number of times earlier, but every time they failed. Now, probably they're trying to use, they, they also tried filing uh, petitions in the name of uh, some, uh, some people, but it, it failed. Now, they have tried in the name of uh, this association, which is expected to fail because the High Court has uh, already taken a ruling on it, gave them opportunities in the past, heard the matter, 
and found no merit. So the high court, the courts were right in in rejecting it. In fact, they're just wasting their time and wasting the time of the courts in, in, in to keep trying and trying and trying. Now we have reached a stage, the final stage of implementation. And what's the point in going to the court now to seek remedy? And this is a matter going on for the last uh, probably six years. It doesn't make sense. Look, uh, the, is, you try. Have you found any fault in the meters, metering system? Have you? Do you feel that the rate is uh, uneconomical? They've got a, they've got the best rate in the country, so there's no reason why they should keep objecting. Or oh, the the only reason one can see is that in the past they got away with fleecing customers, and they enjoyed doing it. That could be the only reason. If you are getting the best taxi rate in the country, what prevents you from accepting these rates? And now we end this bulletin with the cartoon of the day image. This cartoon says it all. With the guidance, will form the government, but which party? That's all we have in today's news bulletin. For more updates, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel at HCN Goa. Or follow us on Twitter and Facebook to stay alerted by following us at Oharal Goa. Until then, take care and goodbye.